Nowadays, everybody wants to go on a trip of one kind or another. Even when they stay home, they want to see the sights. But everybody wants to travel in style, in the proper color. And some want to make their trip into the wild blue in, a, in an indigo airplane trimmed in violet. And some want to make their trip on green water in a golden boat dressed in red, white, and aqua green. So this film is going to be a fashion show of trips that we can make in the popular, fashionable colors of today. And first, brown. Now this shade of brown is, is very popular, and it really brings out your personality. And this is a brown sand trap. The sand trap sets off the real you. Now, all brown trips aren't sad like sand traps. And this is one designed for ex-taxi drivers who are trying to relive those happy moments when they used to splash through mud puddles near the curb and try to paint the whole world brown. These are the brown swamp buggy races of Naples, Florida, where buggies mess around in the mud pretending that they're whipping up a few acres of chocolate pudding. Brown is a very in color when you drive a swamp buggy. It's in your eyes, in your nose, in your ears. An even wilder brown is the trip down the Grand Canyon. Now there are other colors too, but mostly it's basic brown. These rocks have been getting sunburned a long, long time. This rock got its basic training two billion years ago. And the canyon walls stack up at the rate of 600,000 years to the foot. And this means that all recorded history is about as thick as one brown graham cracker. So brown is a very good color. It's been in fashion a long, long time. And this is the bottom of the Grand Canyon, where the brown Colorado River grabs everything that comes to the water's edge. And the best way to get grabbed is with George E. White, who's tied three war surplus wading pools together. And she goes bobbing down the Colorado River every summer with her friends. And she's surrounded by millions and millions of years, every moment of which at one time was now. On, on a brown trip like this, you get philosophic. You, you think up wall mottos, such as, with all this time, how come we're running low? And now and then is fine, but now is better. OK, so much for brown. Now let's go looking for some blues. We can do blue in different ways. We can go up in the blue, or we can go down in the blue. And we'll look for various fashionable shades of blue. This is the airport where our guides are lined up for takeoff. And here's the blue bird of happiness. He's happy because he's pretty, which is what fashion does for all of us. So now we're scouting for blues in a bluebird over the Florida Everglades, home of the blue heron, blue marlin, blueberry jellyfish, blue blowfish, and hurricanes that once blew through. We're going down into Penacamp Park, which is a fish refugee camp. Now, in this part of Florida, all the fish are on the federal payroll. They're protected, except from each other. Now, this blue trip seems somewhat bluer to taxpayers who go down and watch their taxes swimming around in the ocean. You've been on skin diving trips before. Well, you're on another one now. And this is the blue barracuda, who's always asked to do his Humphrey Bogart imitation. And this is a starlet who wants to get into the movies. Two jellyfish, and you have a living bra. Well, we said it was a blue movie. And a couple of sad turtles pretending that they're underground movie producers. Just about what you'd expect in a blue skin diving movie. Now, you can style up a skin diving movie like this if you can coordinate it with a nice color such as red. But if you can't get red, yellow is nice. And these are nice yellow gold pieces found in the blue off Florida. And this is a blue sweatshirt. 
It belongs to a treasure hunter whose claim to our attention is his unusual technique in locating a shipwreck. He waits for shipwrecks to happen, and when a ship finally comes in to be wrecked, he'll be in position. And now he's waiting for his supplies to be floated in. Now, waiting for shipwrecks to happen is a very lonely business, but he'd like to have us think th that it's lonelier than it is. Because if you look closely, you'll see a girl's hand come out of the tent and into the potato chips. For him, it's a lonely blue life. But being blue isn't so bad if you can share the blues with someone. Now let's waterproof our camera and go underwater. Because so far, it's been a fashion show, suitable for all members of the family, even mom and dad. But now we're going to put people in the water. And as we shall see, they are powerless to resist. It's the most powerful weapon ever invented, and this is what it is. You're looking down the barrel now. This is camera power. All you have to do is aim the camera, and people go wherever the lens is pointing and do what is expected of them. And here we are in the blue. Keep your mouth closed and the camera running. And people in blue come into view. And when you come out of the blue, you blow. Now, the best blue happens when you look up, like now. Don't look down and miss it all. Like this diver who once found a lawnmower on the bottom. And now he never looks up. We're in the water just off Marathon in the Florida Keys. And this is the blue view that you get in your great big picture window of the Atlantic Ocean whenever you put your head underwater. Now this blue trip is the trip of tomorrow. Just under the surface is, is where it's all happening. Just take your head under once and you're enrolled. You're surrounded enveloped, and you completely forget dry. Now, uh, let's leave the Atlantic and watch a blue fashion show in the Pacific. And this is the dazzling blue of Makapu in the Hawaiian Islands. It's a, it's a very popular shade. And here are some fashion-conscious travelers who, as soon as they see their color, they dive right in before it gets away. Now, as you see, the right blue does a lot for you, and, and to you. Now look closely at this becoming ensemble on the runway. He's wearing a lovely cloak of azure, uh, flounced by spectacular aquamarine ruffles, highlighted by a myriad of dainty sequins and trailing a white veil. A truly blue trip to be remembered. Behind the scenes, one of the excited models discusses the way the blue veil went over his head and then darted off the shoulder and around the hip. A brilliant fashion event that shows that many exciting things can be done with basic blue. Now let's cross the island to Waimea Bay, where the big blue waves come rolling in from time to time, rolling the surfers as they go. And this is the bluest blue that we're going to find. We find ourselves turning blue just waiting for the surfers to come up for air. But no one has to take a blue trip all by himself, because even surfers like to go with friends. Although a friend out here still leaves you just about as alone as you can get. But the real friendly, safe way to go on a blue trip is by watching blue movies, just as we're doing here. So this is what we've learned. Trips are fine, but don't go alone. Find a friend. And then go on a color trip. And brown and blue are splendid, fashionable colors. So, drown in brown, or blow yourself blue, but make your trip in style. Now, everybody go.